I'm going to show you how to start dropshipping on TikTok shop with full automation. Even if you've never sold anything online, this video tutorial will walk you through each step, including setting up your TikTok seller account, what products you can and cannot sell, finding winning products, the best dropshipping suppliers with fast shipping, how to import your products to your store, how to market your products the best way, both free and paid methods, how to fulfill your orders and analyzing and optimizing for success. And all of this is going to be wrapped up under the dropshipping business model that allows us to sell products without holding any inventory or having any expensive upfront costs. And the best part is we can now completely automate the process without the need to have several connector apps that make everything much more complicated. And as a huge bonus, you'll also get access to a 41 page TikTok shop cheat sheet with all of the steps I'm about to show you so that you can take actionable steps right after watching this video. I guarantee that this is the best and only TikTok shop dropshipping video that you will need to be able to start making sales easily all while putting your business on autopilot. So let's waste no more time and jump right to it. So the first thing that we wanna do is get our TikTok seller account up and registered. In order to do that, I've got a link in the TikTok shop cheat sheet that will take you directly to the registration page. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna register for a new account, we're gonna select our business type, and we're gonna fill in the rest of the information so that we can get our account up and verified as quickly as possible. Okay, so I'm on the United States merchant account. You can open up shop on all of these regions as you see right here. So you're gonna start off with either your phone or your email address. Then the quick CAPTCHA verification, usual stuff to show TikTok that we are not robots. Then we're gonna enter the verification code that was sent either to our email address or to our phone numbers. And now we're gonna set our desired password. All right, so the first question that they're gonna ask us is what is our business type? Now you're either gonna go with individual or sole proprietorship. The difference is, do you have a business registered under your name or do you not have one? If you do not have one, just go with individual. If you do have one, go with sole proprietorship. So both ways are easy. I'm gonna show you really quick how to get an individual account up and running. And then I'll do the same for sole proprietorship. In this case, I'm going with a registered business address. The first thing that you're gonna be asked to do is upload your passport or a government issued ID. So I'm gonna do that now. And you're gonna do this in both cases, whether you're individual or sole proprietorship. Then we're gonna fill in the rest of the information, your date of birth, your name, your address, and all of that. And in the next screen, we've got the shop information. So here we are going to enter our shop's name. If you don't know what name you wanna use yet, you can just enter a generic name and of course change that later. Then we're gonna choose what is the primary product that we are gonna be selling. If you're not sure yet, you can just choose any. And of course, you can always change these options later. So I'm gonna go with home supplies. Then we're gonna enter my phone number for verification. Now, in my case, it is a registered business, so I am gonna go with sole proprietorship. And here we've got different details, like what is your legal business name? So I'm gonna jot that down. And the employer identification number, your registered business address, and tick in this little box right here. Next, we're gonna have the primary representative. So I'm gonna write down all the correct information, like the legal name, I'm the beneficial owner, date of birth, residential address, and the social security number or individual taxpayer identification number. Now we're going to enter our shop's name and what is the primary product that we'll be selling. Again, if you're not sure about this info yet, you can just fill in anything and change that later. And now we're gonna proceed with a phone number verification. Okay, so we're gonna enter our phone number, we're gonna get our verification code and enter it in this little box right here and click submit. Now we've got this pop-up, confirm your information. So just go through everything, make sure it's all correct and go ahead and proceed to the next menu. And now we're in our TikTok seller dashboard. So that was pretty quick and easy. And as you can see right here, our business is currently being pending. So it's under review. It should take several hours for it to get approved. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and add in the tax information. So go ahead and scroll down here and just verify the information that you already submitted. Under business type, I'm going with individual and I'm gonna enter my taxpayer identification number or TIN right here. Then we're gonna tick in these two boxes down here. Then we're gonna preview the W9 form so that we can sign it. Then we're going to go ahead and click on submit. And that is it, our tax information now has a green checkbox next to it. And we're just gonna wait a few hours to get our business reviewed and verified on TikTok so that we can start selling on TikTok shop. 
Once your application has been reviewed, you're going to get an email from TikTok shop and it's going to look like this. Your TikTok shop has been approved. Congratulations, your store has been approved. To start selling, go ahead and visit the seller center and go ahead, get started. Let's get selling. Now, remember that there is a difference if you're registering for a new account on US or if you're doing it on the UK marketplace or anywhere else. So, of course, to each their own, I went with the US and now my TikTok shop is ready to get started. This is what the dashboard looks like once it's been approved and we are ready to start. So we're going to head over to the cheat sheet and take it step by step. Now, in order to get access to this cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment right below this video, hashtag TikTok shop, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to you. You'll have a link that will take you directly to this cheat sheet and you will have everything that you need. But we're going to take it step by step because it is a 41 page sheet that I created just for you. Nothing here was copied and pasted or AI generated. I actually sat down and wrote down each and every step. So we already got our seller account set up. The next thing that we want to do is configure our shipping options and our shipping templates so that our customers will know what to expect when purchasing or before purchasing from our stores. We're also going to need that in order to add our first products. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. If you're looking for more tutorials like this one, how to start dropshipping on all kinds of selling channels, best products to sell, dropshipping interviews with successful dropshippers, live Q&A sessions with me where you can ask me your questions and so much more that we have going on. Now, I can't wait to show you how to start selling on TikTok shop with perfect, full, seamless automation where you will not be able to find anywhere else guaranteed. So let's go ahead with the shipping options and setup. That is the next thing that we need to do. And as we can see right here, TikTok gives us three options. Express shipping, which means we have to deliver within four business days from the time we get an order. The standard setting, which is the one that we're going to go for, which means deliver within seven business days. And free economy, which gets delivered within 11 business days. I do not want to recommend this one unless you're doing dropshipping from China to the US, but I want to go with fast shipping. That's what I've been doing with my eight years experience dropshipping. So I'm going to go from US to US. This way, my customers get their products delivered as fast as possible. So in order to get there on our TikTok seller dashboard, we're going to click on orders and we're going to go down to shipping templates. So what we want to do here is create our first shipping template. And also on shipping options, we want to move that over from TikTok shipping because we do not want to fulfill our orders through TikTok. We want to ship the orders ourselves from our dropshipping supplier. So as soon as we make a sale on our stores, we go to our suppliers, we purchase the product and we send it to our customers. In order for that to happen, we want to make sure that we've got seller shipping in use. But you're going to have TikTok shipping by default. Now, in order to change it to seller shipping, you're going to have to create your template first. So we're going to go to shipping templates and here you're going to create a new template. So in order to create your first shipping template to show your customers what countries this product can be shipped to, we first need to tell them where we're shipping the products from. So we're going to have that option right up here. It's called manage warehouse information. And remember, guys, TikTok is brand new to the TikTok shop and to the whole e-commerce scene. So these menus may change from time to time. If that happens, just work around and find where it is. But at the moment I'm recording this video, of course, all of this information is correct. So here we've got two options, a pickup warehouse and a return warehouse. So what you need to do right here is add an address that's in the same country or state where your products are being shipped from. So in my example, since I'm shipping from the US, then I'm going to add a warehouse location from the US. And here I strongly advise to keep it under the same country. So for example, if you're shipping from China, don't say that you're going to ship from the US. You're going to jeopardize your TikTok account health, all of which we'll get to later. So here we're going to just enter an address. You can go with a virtual address or your home address if you live in the States, as long as it's coming from the same country. So we've got the pickup warehouse and return warehouse. Do not worry about pickups. You can disable that, but we do have to have an address right here. So I'm using the same US address for both the pickup and the return warehouse. And again, do not worry about the return warehouse because if your customer wants to open up a return, you can send them a return label and they're going to have to send it using the return label that your supplier provided you with. But in any case, we do have to fill in warehouse information. So once we do that, we will be able to create our first shipping template. So what you're going to do here is on the top right, you're going to click on create to create a new shipping template. I already have one and they're not letting me remove it because I already have products assigned to it. So what I'm going to do here is just click on edit, but you're going to see the same options when you're going to click on create. 
So when you create your first shipping template, the first thing that you want to do is give it a name. So I'm just calling it free US economy shipping and you're shipping from default, whatever you called your warehouse. So here you can select a warehouse. Of course, you can add multiple warehouses. So some products, if you're shipping them from China, you can create a China warehouse and same thing for US and anywhere else where you may be shipping from or where your suppliers ship from. So here I only have one warehouse, so I'm going to call it default rate model. We can keep it weight based. And here you can set the shipping options that we saw right here on the cheat sheet. So we've got express, which means four day delivery, free economy, which is 11 days. You can use this for your China warehouse or international warehouse. And I'm just going to go with standard shipping right here. All orders must be delivered within seven business days. And we are going to give our customers free shipping because when we use AutoDS, the software that's going to help you automate everything on your TikTok shop, one of the options that you have there is to include shipping inside your source price. So for example, if you're paying your supplier $5 for shipping and $5 for the product, you're actually paying $10. So the system can see that as $10 and from there, you're going to make your profit and offer your buyers free shipping. So we're definitely not going to charge for shipping. It doesn't look good. We want our products to actually work and have the highest chance to sell. So we're going to keep that on zero dollars and you're going to add all of the countries that you can ship to. The only ones that I would exclude from US is Hawaii and Alaska, because in most cases, you're going to have a hard time shipping to them and we don't want any trouble. Most sales are not going to come from them anyway, so we're going to exclude them but of course include the rest. And once you're done, go ahead and click on submit. And you've got your shipping template. Remember under shipping options to move to seller shipping, do not keep it on TikTok shipping. If you accidentally leave it on TikTok shipping and you get orders, then TikTok is not even going to allow you to add tracking information because they're going to wait to get the product so that they can add the tracking information themselves. And again, we do not want that. We're drop shipping. We are using seller shipping so that we have control of our orders, the tracking information and everything else. Now, again, everything is written step by step inside the cheat sheet. I'm not going to go over it now because we already went over it in the video. And now let's get to know the TikTok shop tabs that we have under our TikTok account right here. But before that, I want you guys to know there's a lot of rules on TikTok of what we can sell and what we cannot sell. And they also ask for product qualifications and certifications for many products that we actually want to sell. So I'm going to show you how to get around all of that so that you can sell the products that can sell, that will sell. And believe me, there are millions and millions of winning products that you can sell right now on your TikTok shop. So I'm going to show you how to get around all of that and do everything the right way. But before that, again, let's get to know the TikTok shop menus. So we've got the order screen where we can manage our orders, which we will also be able to see through AutoDS, which I will show you soon. Then we can also manage our returns right here. So if you have any open returns, you can manage them through here. Fulfillment settings is not relevant because we are fulfilling our own orders, shipping options and templates. We went over with it and everything else is not relevant. Then we've got the product screen. So here you can see all of the products that are in stock on your TikTok shop. You can see that I've got this portable water bottle for pets. So that's just one product that I added, of course, through AutoDS. We can also see all of our products through AutoDS under the products menu. And lo and behold, I just got a pop up saying that AutoDS now automates your TikTok shop. How wonderful. And that's exactly what this video is about. OK, then we've also got product ratings. So there you can see all the reviews that you're getting on your products from your customers who purchase from you. We've also got product optimizer that can give us some insights on how we can optimize our products even further, like improving the images, titles and so forth. But just wait until I get to AutoDS with all of that, with the AI title and description generator tool and everything else that we have going on. Manage stock. Again, everything here is being automated through AutoDS, so you don't really need to use that. And we've got product opportunities, which can also help us with our product research, because this shows you other products that are trending right now for other sellers, according to the products that you already added to your store. Then we've got marketing. This is where we are going to promote our products, run ads, whether organic ads that doesn't cost us any money to paid ads, which will cost us money and also allow us to scale promotions, working with influencers and so forth. You can also sell your products using sell with video and live. I'm going to go over all of these options soon. Growth, which will help you with your onboarding process on TikTok shop apps and services. This is where you will be able to add auto DS to help you automate your business analytics that will help you understand the traffic that's coming to your store and account health, which is super, super important to understand how your store is doing. Do you have any violations for not shipping orders out on time or wrong product categories and all these things that TikTok takes into consideration and your total shop performance score? If it doesn't work, just reload your page like I'm doing now. 
And here you've got a complete overview of that. Last but not least, you've got finances. This is how much you're getting paid when TikTok is gonna send you your payouts. Here you can also add your bank account to receive payments from your customers after they place your orders and your tax information. Okay, let's get down to the good stuff. Again, you got all this info in the cheat sheet, so I tried to run it by pretty quick. Now, here is the main event. Our TikTok shop is ready to start making sales. All we need to do is do our product research, add winning products to our stores, and learn how to market them, all of which I will go through next. So the first thing before we start product research and before we understand what products we want to add to our stores, before we make all those decisions, we first need to get to know what we can and cannot sell on TikTok. So before adding any products to TikTok shop, first and foremost, get to know TikTok shops restricted products policy. So these are products that require pre-approval from TikTok shop to be sold and may require documents which may include certifications, testing reports, and product or package images. Now I know what you're saying and do not get scared. TikTok is a little bit strict on what we can and cannot sell, but they also have a reason for that. On the other hand, we're dropshippers. We don't have these qualifications and certifications, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do with all of that. And here I just added a quick screenshot to show you what it's like on AutoDS when you're trying to add the product to TikTok shop, but TikTok shop needs that certification. So in that case, it's right here on the drafts page. And again, guys, I'm gonna go over the whole AutoDS system soon and why you actually need it in order to be able to succeed and scale in dropshipping, whether it's product research, price and stock monitoring, quick product imports, automatic orders, tracking updates, conversions, and all of that. But here, just bear with me because I wanna show you step-by-step step so that you can really learn this business from the inside and out. So I try to add this beauty cream product, which TikTok doesn't allow. So here you're gonna get this red exclamation mark telling you that you do need to have some certification in order to be able to sell this product. And if we scroll down a little bit right here under product certification, we have a place where we can click right here under uploaded certificates, click on manage. And if you do have a certificate, just upload it right here and wait for TikTok's approval. But again, if you do not have these certifications, do not worry. We're getting to that. So, and as I scroll down here, you can see that TikTok shows you an example of what they'd like to see in those product images that they're asking for. So if you are going with the certifications and approvals, make sure that your product looks like this. You're showing the front side and the back. Don't just show the ingredients or nutrition facts. And of course, do not show blurry images. They're not going to approve those. Now, if you try adding those products through TikTok shop, you're also gonna be greeted with the same error. So for example, if I'm gonna try to do it manually, I'm just gonna click on add products real quick. Don't worry if you don't know what I'm doing. I just wanna show you what the errors look like. We're gonna go through the whole import process soon. So here I'm manually adding a new product and here I'm gonna call it um, beauty facial cream antioxidants. I don't know, something like that. And as you can see right here, I've got this message. You need to upload product certificates to list a product in this category. This information will not be publicly displayed. And for this, once again, I'm going to need to upload a certification. So this is something that we want to be able to avoid. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. We are getting to it. So now, here are the restricted product categories that require certifications. Now, there are two things that TikTok may ask, either a certification, a qualification, or nothing. And I'm gonna show you how to get to that nothing, but first understand what you cannot sell on TikTok or what does require these certifications slash qualifications. So I've got a whole list here. And again, I manually wrote down each and every one of these products categories, niches, and I divided them between certifications, qualifications, and no need for any of that. So I'm going to go through it relatively quickly because you have all that information right here in the cheat sheet. Again, guys, comment right below this video, hashtag TikTok shop, and I'm gonna send you the link to this cheat sheet. No questions asked, it's all yours. Don't forget to also like and share this video if you appreciate the value. And once again, guys, subscribe if this is the type of content that you're looking for. If you wanna learn how to start and run your own success dropshipping business from A to Z with as much value as possible without asking for anything in return. And you will be able to also notice the differences between doing everything manually, which I'm showing you, to doing everything automatically using dropshipping automation software, which I firmly believe in and have been using for over eight years now. So what are the restricted product categories that require certifications? And you will start to notice a pattern here. So beauty and personal care products. Now this doesn't mean that the whole category is now dead and you cannot sell it, but you cannot sell skincare products, lotions, deodorants, drugs, and medicinal claims. And this is kind of the same as Facebook ads. You cannot run 
you cannot make uh, medical claims on your products, on your ads. So this means that you cannot sell stuff like sunscreens, anti-dandruff shampoos, toothpaste, sun tanning material, and again, anti-perspirant deodorants. We cannot sell car fragrance products. We cannot sell consumer medical devices, class one, class two. So that's like eyewear, menstrual pads, laser IPL hair removal devices, and basically almost all types of electrical and electronic products. So whatever plugs into a wall socket, whatever has chargeable batteries, commercial appliances, beauty and personal care appliances, hand and power tools, and household appliances. We cannot sell knives and survival kits with knives, packaged food and beverage, pet food, products with CO2 cylinders, protective hearing devices, and surprise-based products, which is those mystery boxes where you don't tell them what they actually have inside and they just buy something without knowing and then they just open it and get random stuff. Now, again, when I'm saying that we cannot sell these products, it just means that they require certification. So you can sell them if you have certifications. Then we've got what TikTok calls invite-only products like CPR aids, solar eclipse glasses, pre-owned products. And we've got products that require brand approval. So if you're a brand owner, you're going to have to supply copies of authentic trademark certifications and trademark registration verification. If you're a distributor of the branded products, like the dropshipper of the branded products, then you're still going to need trademark certifications, licensing agreements, authorization from the brand owners. So of course, we are going to sell unbranded products. The next type of categories that we cannot sell or that will need a certain something is category qualification requirements. So here we're going to need an act actual qualification to sell these products. So we are going to be avoiding these products and going to the ones that we can sell, which I'm getting to soon, which again, you've got tens of millions of products, winning products that you can sell right now. So do not worry. And everything is laid down right here for you in the best and easiest manner. So the restricted product categories that require qualifications are mainly children's products and fine jewelry, watches and accessories. Again, this doesn't mean that you cannot sell jewelry or watches and accessories at all, but if they've got a real gold, diamond, ruby, sapphire or emerald material, you cannot sell them or at least you will need a qualification like diamonds have their qualifications, certifications and so forth. Same goes for the rest of these material. So those are the product categories or niches that require qualification. Then we've got prohibited products. So these are products that you want to avoid selling at all costs. No certifications, no qualifications. Just stay away. Avoid selling them. Do not list them on your TikTok store and just stay away. So no adult products. You've got examples right here. Alcohol, tobacco, e-cigarettes, animal related products, baby and maternity products. You can sell some of them. I will give you guys some examples soon, but these are the examples that you cannot sell. Certain beauty and personal care products. Again, not all products, but products that claim to have medical applications, imported cosmetics that do not comply with US laws and regulations, products that are supposed to be used by medical professionals or under medical supervision, cosmetics in the FDA recall or safety alert, FDA prohibited products, skin whitening, lightening, bleaching, stay away from those products. Other examples, body and mental wellness products, discriminatory and offensive products, drugs and drug paraphernalia. That should go without saying, but I'm going to leave it here anyway. Firearms, ammunition, weapons, gambling, gamification, hazardous and dangerous items, human body parts. I mean, guys, come on, don't sell human body parts. Lock picking and theft devices and more. You can just learn about the rest by clicking the links that I'm leaving you guys inside the cheat sheet. I've also added here examples of dangerous goods that we cannot sell. So dangerous apparel, like stain removers, automotive products. Don't worry, there's a lot of automotive products that you can sell. And the same for all these categories. So each category is kind of split to you can sell this category, but there are certain products under this category that you cannot sell and others, of course, which you can. All of which, again, I organize inside this cheat sheet in a way that you will not be able to find anywhere else. I really want to help you guys do it the right way. And I want you to take care of your TikTok seller accounts. And that is why I made this 40 page sheet with this video and all of the rest of the content that we have going on, head over also to autods.com slash blog if you want to read the full article about this. And let's continue down the list. So some automotive products that you cannot sell, do not sell car engines, paint care products, oils, fluids, lead acid batteries, and spillable or non-spillable batteries. So again, guys, anything that has to do with batteries, in any category, uh, electrical products, fluids, flammable stuff, you're kind of noticing the pattern here. You cannot sell them. And when I show you the ones that you can sell under these categories, it'll all start to make sense. 
So baby products, no baby grooming, no baby skincare, no antibacterial material. And for beauty and personal care, I know that a lot of dropshippers are selling under this category. So to make it simple, here is a list of things that you cannot sell under the beauty niche. So we talked about deodorants, hairspray. So anything that has to do with deodorants and spraying, hair colors, hair dyes, perfume, essential oils, self-tanning lotions and sprays insect repellents, aftershave treatments, so none of all that heavy material, no creams, no sprays, right? So it all kind of makes sense, no nail polish. And when it comes to books, no song books, maybe you should just stay away from books in general. They're most likely branded by authors who do not want you to resell their products, stay away from that. Consumer electronics, no power banks, no cell phones, they've all got rechargeable batteries, no chargers, no batteries, no darkroom supplies, and no speakers. Food and beverages, I would say completely stay away from food and beverages. No reason to dropship them, really. Health and household, no cleansers and cleaners. Dishwashing liquids and powders. So again, liquids, powders, laundry liquids and powders. Home improvement, do not sell grills. You can, of course, sell grill accessories, but do not sell the actual grills themselves. No pest and insect control. Office products, there's a lot of products, again, under each and every one of these categories that you can sell, which I'll go over, but these are the ones that you cannot sell. No cartridges and toners, because, of course, that has to do with ink, liquids, no equipment cleansers, tape, adhesives, and glue, markers, highlighters, pens, and refills. Pet products, stay away from aquarium glass cleaners, because, again, that's all kinds of material that you cannot resell. No aquarium water treatments and test kits. Shoes, no light-up shoes, because those have batteries, sole and shoe stain removers, and no shoe polish. Sports and outdoor, no camp stoves, no hand warmers, no bike tools and equipment, and no spillable and non-spillable batteries. Toys, mainly you want to stay away from all kinds of toys. And don't sell video games, do not sell controllers, no wireless and Bluetooth sets, and no game pads. Mainly you can maybe sell covers for remote controllers and things like that, cases, but none of this stuff. Now again, guys, the full list is inside the cheat sheet. Comment right below this video, hashtag TikTok shop, and I will send you the link to this cheat sheet with everything that you need absolutely free, no questions asked with nothing in return. All right, so what products and categories actually are allowed for dropshipping on TikTok shops? Phew, now that we went over the whole list of what we cannot sell, do not be alarmed because once again, you've got more products that you can sell than products that you cannot sell. And here is the full list that I customized, sat down and wrote one by one just for you. So starting with home supplies, you can sell home organizers, storage boxes and bins, and all kinds of sub niches within that category. Bathroom supplies, all of these types like toilet seat covers, soap dispensers, toothbrush holders, soap dishes. Again, don't sell the soap because that's made of the material that you cannot resell, but you can sell the soap dishes. Towels, bathroom gadgets, bathroom sets, just make sure that they don't connect to the wall, that make sure that they don't have batteries. So you're kind of noticing the patterns of what you can and what you cannot. Home decor, a whole bunch of products under home decor that you can sell, like statues and clocks and decorative stickers and photo frames. And as you see, I, I was just typing all of this so fast for you guys, so I'm making a quick uh, typo adjustments as we go. Mirrors, candles, refrigerator magnets, plaques and signs, posters, prints, home care supplies. You've got a whole bunch of products, again, that you can sell there, like cleaning gloves, trash bags, bins, mops, aprons, dust covers, kitchen rolls, tissues, napkins, shoe covers, laundry tools and accessories. So again, do not sell the actual laundry machines, but you can sell washing bags, washing lines, ironing boards, drying racks, laundry balls and discs, even though this one is kind of questionable because it has to do with material. But hey, TikTok shop will allow it if you try to add it now, or at least while I'm recording this video, washboards. And you can also sell festive and party supplies, so decorations, balloons, sprays, confetti, tableware, hats, masks, accessories, party bags, gifts, cake decorations. These make for a lot of really good dropshipping products, so you're really not going to have any problem here. And miscellaneous like rain cloths, umbrellas, raincoats, rain shows, and covers, really great for the winter. And now let's go over kitchenware. So there's a lot of products in the kitchen that you actually can sell. But once again, just make sure that it doesn't have any dangerous material, doesn't plug into wall sockets, doesn't have batteries and all the things that we said that we cannot sell. So we've got a lot of products under tea and coffeeware. We've got a lot of products under kitchen knives. It did say that you cannot sell knives, but if it's a kitchen knife, TikTok shop will allow it. I'll allow it. And we've got barbecue utensils. Remember how I told you you cannot sell the barbecues, but you can sell barbecue utensils and tools. Bar and wine utensils, bakeware, 
cookware like pots and pans and woks and cookware sets and disposable cookware and cookware accessories, cutlery and tableware, a whole bunch of sub niches under there. Same for drinkware, lots of kitchen utensils and gadgets, which you can sell as you can see right here. And again, a lot of these make for really good dropshippable products. I've seen a lot of successful sellers selling items like cooking utensils, all kinds of cool peelers and cutters, gadgets and others. And we've got textiles and soft furnishing. So here we've got a whole bunch of bedding products that you can sell like blankets and, and throw blankets, sheets, pillowcases, bedding accessory sets, even mosquito nets, bed skirts, and so forth. You can also sell household textiles. So chair covers, tablecloths, table runners, carpets, mats, rugs for inside the house, outside the house, in the living room, in the bathroom, sofa covers, curtains, fabrics, and sewing supplies. So if you're into all of the sewing and crafts and do it yourself, you can sell all those products as well. Just don't sell the actual sewing machines that plug into the wall outlet. And now let's move over to women's wear and underwear. These products make millions for dropshippers. So here you can sell a whole bunch of women's tops, women's bottoms, women's dresses, women's special clothing, suits and overalls, women's underwear, and women's sleepwear and loungewear. And the same pretty much goes for men. So men's tops, men's bottoms. Of course, you've got all the examples, all the subcategory niches in, under these categories, which I will not go over because this video is going to be four hours long. Men's special clothing, men's underwear, men's sleepwear and loungewear, and men's suits and overalls. Now, when it comes to shoes, same goes for both. So you can sell both men and women's shoes. Just make sure that they don't light up. Those are mainly kids shoes but still if you find any shoes that light up and that use those batteries that help them light up do not sell them but these of course are the shoes that you can sell like oxford heels slippers boots and so forth and of course shoe accessories no problem with these products whatsoever and beauty and personal care so these are the products that you can sell under this multi-million or multi-billion dollar selling category year by year for other drop shippers so here under hand foot and nail care you can sell nail art manicure and pedicure tools, nail art kits, and under bath and body tools, you can sell manual massage tools. Now, the key word here is the word manual. These, of course, are products that don't require being plugged into the wall and do not have some type of rechargeable battery inside of them. They can just be those, like those wooden rollers, for example. Let me just give you a quick, quick example. So if I go to AliExpress and search for wooden massage, these are great products for dropshipping as well. So these, for example, what we can see here are manual massage tools. So it's just these rollers that you kind of roll on your arms, legs, backs, bodies, backs, whatever. But you cannot sell, for example, a neck massager like these because these are battery operated and TikTok shop will not allow it. So again, there are products that you cannot sell and there are lots of winning products that you can sell. Under men's care, we can sell razors, shaving tool sets, and for personal care appliances, we can just pretty much sell the accessories there. Eye and ear care, we cannot sell glasses and Q-tips and things like that, but we can sell sleeping masks. Under special personal care, you can sell heat patches, ice packs, and incontinence bed pads. And now under phones and electronics. Now we know that we cannot sell cell phones. I hope that you understand that by now. And you cannot sell electronics, but what can you sell under those categories? What are the subcategories that you can sell that are great sellers for drop shippers? So under phone accessories, we've got cases, screen protectors, stickers, phone straps and charms, mobile phone parts, just make sure that they're not electronic parts, selfie accessories, mobile lenses and flashes, SIM cards, accessories, phone holders and mounts. Under tablet and computer accessories, you can sell tablet covers, tablet cases, parts, screen protectors, stands, bases, bags and sleeves. Now computers and office equipment. So you saw office equipment that you cannot sell. Here's what you can sell under there. So under desktop and laptop components, of course, we cannot sell the PCs themselves and the laptop themselves, but what we can sell is, for example, PC cases. So if you're looking right here at my side view from the side camera, this is a PC case. I can sell the PC case, but I cannot sell the lighting inside. I cannot sell the fans, the memories, the CPU, and everything else that connects to electricity, but I can sell the case because it's simply made of plastic, aluminum, and glass. Next, we've got computer accessories, laptop covers and cases, laptop stands and trays, and mouse pads, of course, which we cannot sell. And remember, guys, all of these products that we can sell that I'm going over now, you don't need any qualifications and any certifications. Just add them to your TikTok shop and get selling. Under office stationery and supplies, you can sell notebooks, envelopes, gifts, wrapping, accounting supplies, desk organizers, accessories, cards, calendars accessories, office filing products, badges, labels, measuring supplies, and presentation supplies. 
and under pet supplies. So, of course, we cannot sell things like pet food, pet beverages, uh, electronics for pets, and things like that. But there's a whole bunch of products that we can sell for pets. And, of course, it's really important because the pets niche is one of the best selling for many, many dropshippers worldwide, including myself. So what pet products can we sell on TikTok shop? Beds, sofas and mats, houses, cages and crates, scratching pads, posts, cat hammocks, cat and dog flaps, stairs, ramps and play pens. When it comes to clothing for pets, we can sell coats, shirts, sweaters, hoodies, life jackets. There's a whole bunch of clothes that we can sell for your pets. It's really not a problem. Dog and cat litter. So you can sell training systems, litter trays and boxes. Just again, guys, no batteries, no wall outlet connections diapers, pads, and trays, poop bags, scoopers, it's all good. Odors and stain removers is good for the pet's niche, but not for others, and urine detectors. Now, when it comes to grooming products, TikTok is kind of strict when it comes to grooming, but when it comes to pet grooming, a little bit less. So you can sell shampoos and conditioners. I don't know if I would recommend it, but they'll allow it. Bath accessories, combs, brushes, grooming wipes, great products, clog care, ear care, oral care, eye care, and hair removal products. Again, on human beings such as yourself, you cannot sell them, but for pets, TikTok shop seems to not have a problem with it dog and cat healthcare recovery colors support braces accessories so you've got a whole bunch and these are great sellers for dropshippers as well collars and harnesses training and behavior aids just make sure that again it's not electrical dog toys cat toys feeding supplies not the feeding food themselves but supplies yes like the bowls that they eat and drink from and so forth carriers travel supplies and memorials no problem with that fish and aquatic supplies remember how we said that you cannot sell the material that cleans the aquariums but this is what you can sell decorations aquariums tanks themselves water treatment pumps filters cleaning tools and feeding tools it's almost the same for reptile and amphibian supplies so decorations terrariums shipping supplies it's all good cleaning tools and feeding tools bird supplies it's pretty much the same you can even sell bird toys small animal supplies houses habitats toys feeding supplies exercise wheels grooming supplies odor stain removers and small pet clothing is no problem at all and farm animal and poultry supplies so grooming supplies toys it's pretty much the same as the rest of the pets that we went through. Now, baby and maternity. So you sell the products that you cannot sell, but you can sell maternity underwear, clothing and accessories, nursing clothes, maternity pillows, supporting belts, maternity seat belts and accessories. And sports and outdoors, this one is pretty big. So I'm gonna walk over it a little bit faster. If you wanna read about all of the sub niches, which as you can see here, it's a lot. And again, guys, I wrote these down one by one because no place has it organized the way that I did it here because I know that a lot of people are having problems with what they can and cannot sell on TikTok shop. So all that you need to do is when you're doing your product research, which soon I'll show you the best methods for product research, when you want to add a product or when you're looking at a product and thinking about selling it, you can just search for that category right here in the cheat sheet and see where it's placed at, whether it's in the prohibited products, dangerous products, or products that you can sell. So you can sell sports and outdoor clothing. Again, I'm not going to go over the sub niches, sports footwear. So all of the shoes types, sports and outdoor accessories like water bottles and gloves and headbands, ball sports equipment. So pretty much every sport you can think of water sports equipment. Same goes for that winter sports equipment, fitness equipment like hula hoops and app training and gym balls and all of that. Just make sure it's not electrical camping and hiking equipment. You've got a whole bunch. And guys, these are wonderful, wonderful categories, niches and sub niches for drop shipping, leisure, outdoor and recreation equipment. So you've got a whole bunch right here like yoga and fencing and roller skating and wall climbing and all of that swimwear surfwear and wetsuits fan shop and again that's pretty much when it comes to sports and outdoors but it's tied to a lot of sub niches all that i entered inside the cheat sheet again guys comment hashtag tiktok shop right below this video and this cheat sheet i will send you the link and you will have access to all of that toys and hobbies i would stay away but here's what you can sell so you can sell musical instruments and accessories so keyboards and pianos percussion instruments wind instruments guitars music accessories instrument bags and cases and do it yourself scrapbooking knitting beading needlework do it yourself painting supplies just not the paint itself, leather craft, candle and soap making, badge making, pottery and ceramics, do it yourself, woodwork and felt craft. So you can easily sell those products, but do not sell like cardboard games and any other toy that's simply not under these sub niches. Now, here's what we can sell under furniture. Now, here's what we can sell under furniture. So I'm going to split this to indoor and outdoor furniture. So indoors, you can sell pretty much anything as long as it doesn't have the things that we said not to sell. So sofas are good, shelves, room dividers, coat racks, 
racks, tables, desks, chairs, stools, benches, beds, mattresses, cabinets, wardrobes, furniture sets, TV stands, just not the TVs themselves, bedside tables, bed frames, and headboards. It's all good. And you've got the same for outdoor furniture. So outdoor sofas, chairs, patio umbrellas, patio swings, furniture sets. These are great high ticket items that you're going to make a lot of profit on when drop shipping, outdoor tables, tools and benches and outdoor shelves. And you've got commercial furniture as well. And I'm going to move faster now, guys. So tools and hardware, there's a whole bunch of hand tools that you can sell, even though I would stay away from knives. But again, if you try adding it out to TikTok, they'll, they'll allow you to do so. Measuring tools garden tools, soldiering equipment, tool organizers, like tool bags, cases, boxes, racks, and bars, all types of hardware that you can sell, and pumps and plumbing. Then under home improvement, under lights and lighting, because you know that you cannot really sell light, right? Because it's electrical, but you can sell lighting accessories, electrical equipment and supplies like switches, wires, and cables. And that's pretty much it. But I would just say stay away from these categories because it's really sensitive. Kitchen fixtures, building supplies, bathroom fixtures that you can sell like shower equipment, hooks and bars, bathroom sinks, and things like that. Security and safety, only emergency kits, but if it has knives in it, you cannot sell it. So again, I would recommend to stay away from this one. Gardening supplies, so again, a great, great category for drop shipping. So you can sell things like raised beds and plant care and garden decor, like outdoor statues and, and signs and things like that. Flower, plant seeds, garden soil, fertilizers, you can sell all of that. So what can we sell under automotive and motorcycle? Because as I said, you cannot sell like car engines and transmissions and parts like that. But there's a whole bunch of products, as you can see right here, that you can sell. And of course, the list is much bigger than what you cannot sell. So you can sell all kinds of car exterior and accessory parts like sunshades, car roof racks, window tints, car stickers, car covers and shelters. And under car interior accessories, you can sell car mats and neck pillows and a whole bunch of other products, car repair tools, car washing and maintenance. So again, just stay away from the material itself, like the car washing material, but you can sell the rest of these washing and maintenance products and some motorcycle accessories that you can sell. Under fashion accessories, we can sell things like hair extension and wigs, dressmaking fabrics, clothes accessories, eyewear. Of course, not all eyewear like we talked about, but we can sell glasses, cases, and accessories, just not the glasses themselves. Watches and accessories, men's watches, women's watches, couples watches. So all these types of watches, just make sure that they are not made of real gold and all of the other things that we talked about. Soon I will go over the materials that you can actually sell. Custom jewelry and accessories, so earrings, anklets, rings, bracelets, bangles, necklaces, charms, pendants, and more. Hair accessories, headbands, hair clips, headpieces, and crowns. But now let's actually talk about the material that we can sell under the jewelry niche because dropshipping works really well on jewelry. So under jewelry accessories on the cheat sheet, we can see the material under jewelry that we can sell like platinum, silver, and natural crystal. And of course, you've got all the jewelry products that you can sell under those like the necklaces, bracelets, anklets, earrings, jewelry sets, clothes, accessories, stuff like that. So same goes for silver and natural crystal. You can also sell non-natural crystal, jade, semi-precious stones, artificial gemstones, pearls, amber, and melite. And of course, under those, you do have the jewelry products that you can sell. Under luggage and bags, we can sell women's bags, men's bags, luggage and travel bags, and functional bags. Again, all with the sub niches, subcategories that you can sell under there. Bag accessories like straps, chains, hangers, and stuff like that. Under collectibles, you can also sell all types of collectibles. I'm not going to go over it now. I don't see a lot of dropshippers dropshipping them, but again, it is possible. And that is pretty much it when it comes to what products we can and cannot sell on TikTok shop. Remember to use this cheat sheet. Look for the products that you want to sell. I'm going to go over product research right now. And when you look for these products, when you find something that you want to sell, search for the category that it falls under and see where it fits inside this cheat sheet, whether it's under the products that you can sell or cannot sell. So once again, I organized everything for you guys so that you will have a seamless and wonderful dropshipping experience filled with good luck and success, selling products that you can sell, taking care of your TikTok seller account health so that you can stay here for the long term, make yourselves in profits and enjoy the dropshipping automation. So now let's go over product research and learn how to find winning products to sell on TikTok shop. So first of all, we need to understand what actually makes a winning product. You want the product to either solve a problem or have a wow factor. It can also be one of both. It needs to be hard to find in local stores and also hard to guess the price. So it needs to be something that you don't really see every day and that you can find in every local or convenience store. Lastly, I did hook you up with a product research dropshipping spreadsheet. It's linked inside the cheat sheet. Again, guys, access to this comment below. Hashtag TikTok shop. 
and I'm going to send you the link to this cheat sheet with all of the information inside. And inside this product research dropshipping cheat sheet, you can simply narrow down your winning products, simply add the products that you're finding and answer these questions. Like, are you even passionate about this product? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Does it sell for over $30? And if you answer yes to all of the questions on one of your products, there's a higher chance that you will be able to sell it compared to products that you answered no on. So that's going to help you kind of narrow down your winning products. So use that as you're doing your product research. The best product research methods that I recommend going with is number one, first and foremost, the AutoDS marketplace. Now I know I talked about AutoDS now and then in this video, and I did say that I'm going to tell you why you need to use it. Some of the main features that you're going to get from AutoDS is price and stock monitoring. So if the price changes on your supplier's website, it'll change on your TikTok shop as well. And same goes for the stock. We do not want to sell products that suddenly go out of stock on our supplier's websites. You also have print on demand. You have an automatic order system, which I will show you everything there soon. You have the AI product title and description generator. So you can make compelling titles and descriptions for your titles. And you're definitely not going to copy and paste what other dropshippers are doing or the same product titles and descriptions from your suppliers. You're going to make them better, unique with our AI generator tool. You've got a whole bunch of product research and private suppliers marketplace, all of which I will show you soon. You've also got product sourcing. So if you find the product and you list it and you sell it, and now you want to find a better supplier, a better agent, and even a private supplier for this product, the system can source it for you at no cost, and you will be able to hook up with better suppliers for your products. Now, there's a lot more when it comes to AutoDS, and you can grab your 14-day trial, so try before you buy for just $1. This is absolutely the best investment I believe you can make for your business, especially if and when you want to add in automation to your TikTok shop so that you can actually scale and succeed. So again, there's a bunch of features on AutoDS, a bunch of reasons for you to use it. I'm not going to go over all of them in this video, only the things that you actually need to succeed on TikTok shop, but you can succeed with so many other selling channels and so many other suppliers as well, all with free resources, free courses, a mentorship program, eBooks, podcasts, and so much more. So this is the best investment that I believe you can make for your business, especially when you're ready for automation and scaling, because scaling cannot really be done without automation. So when you're ready to hit those big numbers, go ahead and get your 14 day trial, spend that dollar and start building your dropshipping empire. So why am I talking about AutoDS now? Why are we going into it now? Because we are talking about product research, and this is one of the things that AutoDS can really help you with. So some of the best product research methods is the AutoDS marketplace that can hook you up with private suppliers that also give you customized branding and a private messaging system. Inside, you also have the handpicked products hub and the trending products hub, and you also have the AutoDS ad spy tool. So here you can get the ideas of the best products that are selling really well on the market right now for other dropshippers as well. And you can also get examples of what they're doing, the ads that they're running, the videos that they're making for their products, what's working well for them, their websites, their sources. You can see exactly what they're doing, how much they're profiting, and you can implement the same practices on your stores with a better marketing angle and do a better job selling these best-selling products on your stores. Now, besides AutoDS, you also have other product research methods like using the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, Amazon's best sellers, and using social media hashtags, all of which I will show you, but I'm going to give you all of the options. So again, starting with the AutoDS marketplace. So this is what the AutoDS marketplace looks like after you started your 14 day trial. And here we're under marketplace. So the first thing that we want to do is to actually add your TikTok shop to AutoDS. So you're going to click up here on the top left. When you're creating your AutoDS account, you're going to be opted into connect your store anyway. But if you didn't do it and you got to this screen, just go ahead and click on add store and go ahead and add your TikTok shop. Then you're going to click on continue and continue with the onboarding process. It's really simple. It's just going to connect to your TikTok shop. So make sure that you're also logged into your TikTok shop. That's why first you want to register for your TikTok shop, get approved, then connect it to AutoDS. And once your store is connected, you'll just see it up here. So it's selected. And now we're on the marketplace. So the marketplace has a whole bunch of products that we can sell. Now, some of these suppliers are retail suppliers. Some of them are private suppliers. We're also going to go over suppliers soon, but now we're on product research. So here on the top right, I can go ahead and click on AutoDS suppliers. And this is where I'm going to see all of the private suppliers that you can work with. And this, in my opinion, is much better than retail suppliers because a lot of retailers don't really want you to drop ship from them. And another good point of using AutoDS private suppliers is that we actually check these suppliers one by one and they are ready and willing to work with drop shippers. That's why they're signing into our system, going through the verification program, and then they're adding their products to our system. 
So here, for example, I can check whatever products ship to the United States. And I also want products that ship from the United States because in my case, I want free, fast domestic shipping from into the US. And I want to make sure that my products get delivered as fast as possible. So I selected AutoDS suppliers and ships from into the US with the USD currency, which is the currency that I'm selling on on my TikTok shop. So you can see the products here. And you already know what you can and what you cannot sell using the TikTok shop cheat sheet that I've created for you. So it'll make it easier for you to filter down the products that you actually can sell. And many of these suppliers also support customizable branding. You'll see it right here. So one product that caught my eye is this candy cube woven sling bag right here. So what I'm going to do is click on it and go inside the product listing and get more information about this product. And here you can see that it says customizable branding. So here, create your customizable branding. I can click on add now and upload my own logo. And every time I sell this product and I ship it to the customer, it's going to get shipped out with my logo on it. So that's pretty cool. And I'm kind of branding my store along the way, even though I'm drop shipping and I'm sending out the items one by one. So that's a huge advantage for drop shippers that you can actually brand your products without ordering a minimum order quantity for that. And what I like about this bag is it's really unique. I haven't seen it before and I've been dropshipping for a long time now. It looks unique and women's products, fashion products usually works pretty well. Another thing is that I try to also search for this product on AliExpress. So I search for the same product, Candy Cube Sling Bag. And as you can see, the results are not really promising. I can't even find this product on AliExpress. Where I was able to find it though was on Amazon, but here it costs $50. Whereas on the AutoDS private suppliers marketplace, I was able to find it for just under $20 and it does ship from into the US relatively quickly between four to six business days. So that is under my seven day shipping policy that I have configured on TikTok. And that is more than enough to get this product shipped out on time and my customers happy with a brand new product that costs a lot on Amazon and I could sell it for much cheaper than what it's being sold on on Amazon. So again, it's not on AliExpress. It's very expensive on Amazon. We've got the upper advantage and that is the product that I want to sell on my store. But before that, let's continue with the product research methods. So the AutoDS marketplace with private suppliers is a great place to find trending products. And another thing that I didn't mention is that you can also send a private message to the supplier from within the AutoDS system. And you guys can just have a little chat between you, make sure that they're using the right shipping carriers that you'd like to work with, like USPS, UPS, and DHL, which TikTok supports. And you've also got the different colored variations right here. So adding this product to your store from AutoDS is as simple as just clicking on import draft right here, and it'll move to the draft section of your store where you can continue optimizing the product before importing it to your store and having it go live. But before that, let's continue doing product research. So this is one place to find really good trendy dropshipping products, especially when utilizing the private suppliers. Then we've got the AutoDS handpicked products. So you've got that right here under the marketplace. And here you've got great ideas of products that are selling really well for other sellers at the moment. So let's just scroll a little bit and find a nice product. Oh, I like this hoodies car gear shift cover right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And here you've got a lot of information inside, like how much it's being sold for, what is the potential profit for this product, how many orders it has, what the engagement and saturation score is. And guys, do not worry about product saturation because you're easily going to find, especially from within the AutoDS product research system, that multiple sellers are selling the same product and they're all having success with it. So for example, as you can see right here, we've got a Facebook ad connected to this product and two TikTok ads all coming from different sellers. You've also got more insights like other sellers who are selling this website with a link to their website and you can import these products to your store simply by clicking on import draft. You've got the different variations right here. So you see that you can import different colors and all the variations will upload to your product page. And here, let's just take a look at some of these ads. So we've got two videos on TikTok. You can just click here on see original ad and see what the seller did, what videos they made for this product and the engagements that they got. So here, for example, we can see that this video got 203 likes. Let's open this one. And you can kind of learn from them. This one got 400 likes. So they're both getting pretty viral at the moment. And you can just see the videos that they made for this product. In this case, they either order the product to themselves or to a UGC content creator. We're going to get to the whole marketing section soon. And you can kind of see, you can kind of see exactly what they did in the video and what worked or didn't work for them. You've also got the same thing on Facebook ads. So let's see the Facebook video that a seller made for this product. And you can see 685 likes right here, 202 comments, 130 shares. So yeah, it's a pretty viral viral product. So you're going to get all of this information from within the handpicked products of, and here you actually have a team 
That's sitting down from morning to evening, finding the ad copies for these videos, connecting it to the supplier's websites and to the seller's websites and putting everything in an all in one tool for you. So here you can get some great, great trending products ideas that are actually selling well for other sellers right now. So take advantage of the handpicked products hub inside AutoDS under the marketplace. Another great place is the trending products hub and that's right below the ad spy. The ad spy of course is the third option. So here you can simply find video ads that are being published on Facebook, on TikTok, and by the time you're watching this video, we could have probably released Instagram already. And you can just use the filter system to really narrow down. For example, I want to see only video ads that got more than 10,000 likes that have a product link to it. And as we scroll down, we can get some nice TikTok ads for products that are selling well for other dropshippers, for other sellers. You can click on see TikTok ad and get more information. For example, the engagements it's getting, when they were getting the engagements, you can play the ad from here the video duration, when it was created, when it was last seen. And this one is actually live right now because here's today's date while I'm recording this video. And you can also copy the ad link so you can get inspiration on what's selling for other sellers and the trending products, of course, as I mentioned. So this is kind of similar to the handpicked products. Only here, we're actually using artificial intelligence to find these products, the ad copies and all of the information inside. So let's take, for example, this computer desk, which we can sell on TikTok shop. As mentioned, we cannot sell the computers themselves, but we can sell the desks the mouse pads and accessories like that. So this is an L-shaped gaming desk corner for your computer. You can see how many times it's sold, the profit potential, the interaction rate, how much reviews this product is getting, and more information below. You also got the ad copy, so you can see who's running ads on this product, and you've got the whole product description right here. And you can import this product to your store simply by clicking on import draft right here. You've also got shipping options, if there are different shipping options, and how long it takes to ship and get delivered. So that is the trending products hub, another place to find lots and lots of trending products to sell. So this is your shortcut to finding best sellers. You do not need to go outside and look on retail suppliers websites. You do not need to spend hours and days and weeks of product research because we already did all the hard work. We've got years and years of data inside our database and we are giving all of that to you once you join the AutoDS family. So those are my top three product research methods and you are not going to need any more than that to find product ideas and start importing and selling them on your stores. Now, additional product research methods, as I mentioned, you've got other tools like the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. You can just click on the link in the cheat sheet and it will take you to the Dropshipping Center on AliExpress. Here, you can find some trending product ideas, but there is not that much information and you do have to do some manual work. So let's say, for example, we know that we cannot sell this neck massager because we cannot sell electronics on TikTok shop. We can also not sell toys. So if we scroll down a bit more, okay, let's say we've got this lint roller right here and we want to sell that for people who have pets in their houses and they want to just be able to clean up their pet hairs. So I'm just going to take the URL to this product. Okay, you're going to have to copy it. You're going to have to go back to the dropshipping center. Then you're going to have to click on product analysis and you're going to have to put the link right here and click on analyze data. And now what it's going to do is it's going to show you all kinds of products that are similar to this that are selling on AliExpress. If you've got the product's price, if it has free shipping, how many orders it's getting, the logistics performance and sales performance. And as you can see right here, we've just got a whole bunch of other lint rollers. So we're not getting that much data, but it is another place where you can get some product ideas. And another method that I like to use is Amazon's best sellers. Now on the downside, you've got a lot of categories that you cannot resell here. That's why you have to be very familiar with what you can and cannot sell on TikTok shop. And that is why I spend so much time in this video and organizing it in the cheat sheet so that you guys will do it the right way. So obviously we cannot sell all these headphones and all these iPhones and stuff like that. But if I go down, if I drill down to a category and to a sub niche that I can sell. So for example, let's go to kitchen and dining and let's go to bakeware, for example. And these are products that we can sell. Now, the thing is, we are not getting a lot of data on these products, but you can get a product idea from here because you know that it is a bestseller. So for example, let's say air fryer paper liners. Okay. So I'm going to take that product. I see that selling really well right now on Amazon, and I'm going to do a broad search for that product and make sure that your ship to location is just somewhere in the United States. If that is the target location that you're trying to ship to, because that's the data that you're going to collect. Now, after doing this search, I can see a whole bunch of them that are selling. 
And more than that, I can see how much they're selling. So for example, this one, 125 pieces of air fryer paper liners got 20,000 plus bought in the last month. So this little piece of data right here shows me exactly how much this product is selling. So here we've got 100 in the last month, 3,000 in the last month for these 150 piece of air fryer liners. And so you want to look for that 20,000 in the last month, 10,000 bought in the last month. That is how you're going to get great ideas of products that are selling right now. If you want to check on places like Amazon, this is a strategy that I use when I go outside, but mainly I do pretty much stick to auto DS because all the info is already there. Everything has been researched and you see the success that other sellers are having with it. Now, another place to do it is to simply search on social media, hashtags like TikTok made me buy it, gadgets and Amazon finds. This is a pretty saturated method, but it's still working really well for a lot of people. So let me just go to TikTok.com really quick and do a quick search like that. So here on TikTok, I'm simply going to search, for example, Amazon finds one of the trending hashtags that you can use to find good products that are selling well for other people. Now, it can also be, again, TikTok made me buy it or any other hashtag that I added to that cheat sheet. And once again, here, you're going to find a lot of products that are selling well. So here, for example, it's some toilet seat that sprays onto your butt. I don't know if I would recommend that one. But again, a whole bunch of other stuff like a toothbrush cleaner and other things that are selling well for other people. But again, you're going to have to know what you can and what you cannot sell, which product is actually relevant to be sold on TikTok shop. But you can just see the engagements right here. Like, I don't even know what this product is. Looks like a door stopper right? So that you can open it. Yeah. And this one, for example, got 8 million views. So that is pretty crazy. So you can try searching for door stoppers that are similar to this one. And again, you can get more and more ideas from social media hashtag trends. So do your product research. And once you find winning products that you're ready to sell, it's time to find out who the supplier is that we're going to use. So if you're using AutoDS as a supplier, then you're simply going to import it from within the system. And that is your supplier. Just make sure that your suppliers ship with TikTok supported shipping methods as mentioned. So FedEx, UPS, DHL, and USPS. If your suppliers do not support those shipping carriers, if they do not ship it out with them, do not add their products to your store because if you're not going to be able to upload trackable tracking information that's supported on TikTok shop after you get your orders, that could jeopardize your TikTok seller account health and we do not want that. So your suppliers will have to be able to ship with these shipping carriers. So again, your top go-to suppliers, either the AutoDS marketplace inside where you got private suppliers that also offer personalized branding. The next is AutoDS's 30 plus retail suppliers. So if you click on that, you can see all of the suppliers that AutoDS supports for and with automation. And here you've got over 30 retailers and wholesalers that you can use as suppliers for your TikTok shop. So for example, AliExpress or eBay, Home Depot, Walmart, Redbubble, Wish, Shane, DHgate, and many, many more. But again, the thing here is the shipping carrier. So you have to make sure that they can support them before adding any of their products to your store. Some of them support it and some of them don't. So do your homework before you choose any supplier inside or outside the system. And last but not least, we can also implement the ships from US warehouse on AliExpress. So if you are using AliExpress, and you're considering shipping from China, I highly suggest using this link in the cheat sheet that will take you directly to a US warehouse from AliExpress. And what you want to make sure of here is that not only will it ship from US, but you want to make sure that they are using a supported carrier. Some of these products do and some of them don't. So for example, let's say you want to sell this shoe rack, which you can sell on TikTok shop. You want to check out the shipping options here. So again, you can see that it ships from the US and they ship with FedEx ground. So this product will reach your US customer within a couple of days to less than a week using FedEx, which is perfect. Shipping is free and you're only going to pay for the product, which in this case is $19. So this is another great trick to be able to ship from the US to the US using AliExpress as your supplier. Now, again, AliExpress is a supported supplier with AutoDS, so you can enjoy all of the automation benefits that you have from there. So now let's actually talk about importing these products because we did our product research. We know what we can and cannot sell. We have our TikTok seller account up and running. We know exactly what we're going to sell and we know what suppliers we're going to use to sell them. So now it's actually time to add these products to our stores. So of course, we're going to use the AutoDS product importer. Now, again, if you want to do everything manually, you can. You're just going to head over to your seller account on TikTok, go to products, manage products, click on add new product. But here you are going to be doing everything manually. So it means that you're going to have to download all the images from your supplier's website and upload them here. You're going to have to write your product name and the description. You do not want to copy and paste what your supplier is doing because then you'll have the same one as him. And 
it's just not going to be all that effective. And of course, you're going to have to do everything pretty much manually, and you won't be able to benefit from all of the automation, for example, the price monitoring, stock monitoring, enable automatic orders, and all of that. So that is why I am a big fan of automation. This is the only way to actually be able to scale your business and not just settle for a few sales per week or per month. So we're going to use the AutoDS product importer. You have all of the advantages of that inside this link, but basically you have the single product importer and multiple product importer if you are not importing from within the system. So for example, if you're not using the marketplace or the handpicked products or trending products to import these products directly to your store simply by hovering over the product and clicking on import draft. And by the way, you can also do the same on print on demand, which I did not mention up until now. So you can also sell print on demand products on your TikTok shop at whatever logo, whatever slogan, whatever text you want on the products that you're using for print on on demand and simply import them to your store as well. But again, if you're not doing it from within the system, you can also do it from outside the system. And one of the ways to do that is to simply highlight the product, copy the URL of the product page that you want to actually add, like this ATR shoe rack over here, and you're going to head back to AutoDS. You're going to click on Add Products, and you can either go with single product or multiple products. If you're going with single, you're simply going to paste the URL right here, and you're going to select your supplier. In this case, it's AliExpress, but we are shipping from the United States, so the region is the United States. We're going to click on Edit Now Quick so that we can actually optimize the product or publish it directly to our stores. We also have the multiple product uploader. So here, for example, you can put the URL for product number one here. And let's say you want to add a few more products. Like let's say you also want these stainless steel cups. So I'm just going to, again, click on it. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to head back to the AutoDS importer. I'm going to make a line break and add the next URL and the next one and the next one. And this way you can add multiple products to your store. Another way to do it is when you're searching for something on AliExpress, like let's say, for example, you're looking for, let's go back to that wooden massage tool. Let's say you want to add a lot of these tools to your store. Then with the help of the AutoDS Helper Chrome extension, which you have the link to inside the cheat sheet right here, that's going to allow you to be able to add these products simply by hovering over the products that you want to add. And you see this little AutoDS icon up here, clicking on that will import it directly to your store. So you can click here and here and here and here. So you can also import products from the supplier's search pages. So it's another great way to be able to import these products quickly to your stores. So again, guys, instead of doing everything manually and having to fill in all of this information one by one, let's do it the best way, the easy way using automation. So let's go with that candy cube sling bag product that we found. So that's this one right here. So I've got my TikTok shop selected up here. And this is the product that I want to sell. We already searched for it on Amazon. We saw that it's selling for $50. We couldn't find it on AliExpress. And we are going to use a private supplier where we can purchase it for only $20 if we make a sale. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click on import draft right here. And now it's being added to my drafts page. And it just took less than a couple of seconds. So now I can click here on view and drafts, or I can click on the drafts button here on the left menu. It doesn't really matter which direction we go with. So let's just click on view drafts. And here we can see the product that was imported to the draft section of our store. So now it's ready for optimization. We can optimize the title, the category, which is already placed in the right place. You can see that tags were also imported automatically. And we've got price monitoring, stock monitoring, and I've also got automatic orders enabled, which I'll go over soon. And we've got the product's description. Although I do want to optimize it, I do not want to have the same product description as my supplier. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We've also got the product variants right here. So we can see that black and lavender is currently out of stock, but the bubblegum pink and the Kelly green is in stock. So what we do want to do is first of all, configure what the pricing should be for these variants. And remember that once these products go back in stock on our supplier's site, it's also going to go in stock automatically on our stores as well. But let's take, for example, the bubblegum pink. Okay. So I'm going to click on edit variant and we already went through the fees and we know that the average fees that we're paying on TikTok shop is around 6%. So here I'm going to say that my fees are 6%, but I do want to make an extra 70% profit on top of that. So basically we're going to have to sell this for around $43 where we're paying around $24 for this specific variant. And here I can also round the cents up. So let's say 0.97. And I can also add pricing automation settings, like to increase the price if it's selling well, to decrease the price if it's not selling, down or up to a certain point so that we can really find the sweet spot and make the most amount of profit while we're continuing to rake in orders, but we're not going to go over that now. Then you've got more general settings. Again, everything here is automated. The variance name, which you can change, the default quantity, and other sorts of information. So again, you can go with this, 
but I do want to sell it for at least 2.5 to three times the source price. So in this case, we did see that it's selling on Amazon for $49.99. So I'll just make it a little bit cheaper. Let's say around $47.99 should be our sweet spot at the moment for this product. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. So that is the price that the pink variant is going to sell for. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of them. Now, for the product name and description, I will optimize it using artificial intelligence. So you can say that you want to do it only for the title, description, or title and description. And you can also say if you want it to sound more professional or sellable or funny or optimize it for social networks, I'm just going to keep it as is. And I'm going to click on AI Write. And now it's generating a better title and description for this product. Let's give it a couple seconds and let the artificial intelligence do its magic, as you can see right here in the background. So woven sling bag with candy cube design. And we've got a nice description right here. I'm not going to go over it, but I can tell you that it's already formatted better. It looks better. We've got a nice little bullet list with the product details, and it simply looks much better than what we had in the original copy. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And that's it. Our title has been AI written. Of course, you can add more things like multiple color variations or whatever you want. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Everything looks nice and optimized and we're ready to actually add this product to our store. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and import. And now it's going to move from the drafts to the product section of our stores. And soon we will be able to see it here next to this portable pet cat dog water bottle. So if I refresh it now, we'll see that it's still not there yet because AutoDS is still importing it, but it should take less than a minute and it will be ready. So you can click here to see the progress and now it's complete. So that took less than one minute. So we're just going to refresh our TikTok product page and see that the product actually went through and we can see it right here. So here's a sling bag. We've got all of the variants inside and the retail price will go for $47.97, which is what we were able to price directly from AutoDS. So we're going to be cheaper than Amazon, cannot find it on AliExpress, and we are going to have the upper advantage with this product. Okay, so now that our product is ready, it's in our stores, do the same for the rest of the products that you want to do your product research on. And once you're done importing your products, it's time to actually move to the marketing section. Now, I did mention that on TikTok shop, you're going to pay around 6% fee on the products that you're actually selling after you make a sale. So that works with around a 2 to 4% marketplace commission fee and another 2% transaction fee. So at the maximum, you're going to pay 6% and that is your break even. Anything above your source price plus 6% is going to be your added profit. So you have the link that explains all of the fees. You can get all the info there, but I just broke it down for you in a very simple and easy to understand and learn fashion. Now it's time to start marketing our product so we can actually get it in front of our target audience and start selling. And when it comes to that, you've got the free methods and the paid methods. Now, one of the best opportunities that we have today is free marketing methods because a few years ago, we didn't have this thing called short organic videos. And today it's really killing it. So all you can do is simply order the product to your house and shoot videos and post those videos on TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram, and you will start getting organic traffic, especially if your product has a good hook. It shows exactly what the product is made to do, what problem it helps you solve, or what wow factor it has. Make sure to show that inside the video. Work on your hooks because the first three seconds will be the deciding factor if the viewer is actually going to click on the product and go to your product page and purchase. So here you can shoot a bunch of videos. You can shoot 50 videos, 100 videos, and just see which one will hit the target audience. And once you see one video that's going viral, you can double down on that and move over to pay-per-click ads or TikTok ads, which I will show you soon how to create a whole campaign on that. And you will put a daily budget in order to show that to more people because you already found your winner through free organic marketing. Now, if you do not know how to shoot videos, or if you're not just made for that, if it's not something you want to do, that's also fine. I'm going to show you other ways to go around that and still be able to have a good video for your product. So here's what we do when it comes to marketing. So I'll take a look at this guy, for example, he calls himself Simply Sell Finds. And what he does is he just orders a whole bunch of products and he shoots videos on them. So you can see different products in each video and you can see how viral he's going with each and every one of these videos. So like this product right here, it's a holder for your Nintendo Switch. You can sell that on TikTok shop because it's just a plastic item that holds your Switch and all of the games inside. 1.9 million views, 2 million views for this popcorn maker, which we cannot sell because it connects to your wall outlet. So of course you are going to have to do your due diligence here. That's why you got the cheat sheet that will walk you and guide you through all of that. This is a pretty cool holder for the side of your saying that got almost half a million views. And you can just see that every product here is going super viral. So not only is it another way to find great opportunities on products that will sell well on your stores, this just comes to show you how well organic marketing works. 
And what you're going to do is you're not going to order a hundred different products and shoot a million videos. You're going to start with one product, shoot 50 videos. If none of them work, either work on your hook or maybe simply the product isn't interesting and you'll need to move over to the next one. But that is the power of organic marketing. You can do that to test the market and see what works. Then you can move on to actually creating TikTok ads. Now, this is my recommended method, especially when selling on TikTok shop, because here you have it inside the system already. So I can just click on marketing and let's run our first ad for the product that we uploaded, which is this sling bag right here. But before I create this campaign for us, let's just look at the rest of the paid methods that we can use. So we're going to go with TikTok ads because it's recommended, but you can also use TikTok affiliate. It's also in the dashboard. And here you can just connect with other influencers, other content creators that can shoot videos and content for your product. But that could also be pretty expensive. You can also use Facebook ads or YouTube ads. It's almost as good as TikTok ads, but here you will have the upper advantage because you are selling on TikTok shop. Now here I do have a resource for you. It's called the audience research spreadsheet. Again, grab it on the cheat sheet, comment down below, hashtag TikTok shop, and I'm going to send you access to this cheat sheet. And inside the audience research spreadsheet, you will be able to narrow down on your target audience by answering simple questions like who are the authority figures, influencers, and big brands in the niche that you're selling? What books? magazines and websites does your audience engage with what types of events do they go to and what other relevant products do your audience use now once you answer these questions for the product that you're trying to sell you will be able to narrow down on your target audience but don't go too narrow down we do want to start pretty much broad but it will give you the first impressions on how to create your target audience so let's do a full step-by-step -step on how to create an effective marketing campaign for the product that we're adding to our stores so we're going to go for that cube bag and you've got the whole step-by-step -step right here in the cheat sheet. So you're going to start off by creating your campaign. Then you're going to move over to the ad group setup and the third part, which is the ad setup. But instead of reading everything here, which you can do after watching this video, let's show you how it's actually done. So here under marketing, we're clicking on shop ads. And here on the top right, we're going to click on create custom shop ads. Now in this screen, TikTok does want me to use the advertising objective as product sales. It's asking you, hey, what's the objective of this campaign? What are you trying to do? Now, you can go with that, but I do recommend clicking on show all and then going to either reach or traffic. In this case, I'm going to go with traffic. Now, the reason for that, you may be asking, why go for traffic if you can go directly to conversions and product sales because that's what you're trying to do? Well, TikTok here is trying to grab as much money as they can from you and give you slow results in the beginnings. So you'll kind of get addicted to getting sales, but they are going to come in slow because TikTok at this point does not have the data of where the audience actually is, where to actually find them, the ones that actually want to purchase your product. They don't have that info yet. They do know what audience is purchased, but it's not categorized and narrowed down to the product that you are trying to sell. So in order to get that, you're going to start off with traffic because it's much, much cheaper. They're going to be able to send you a lot of people who just love watching ads on random TikTok products and click on the product to go to the product page. So this way, you're going to be spending less and you're going to be getting more data by people who are actually going to enter your TikTok shop product page. And if they initiate the checkout, then you're going to have more data and the TikTok algorithm will be able to find product sales target audience much, much sooner. So you're going to feed it a lot of data, a lot of cheap data with traffic, then you're going to move over to product sales in the next campaign. So we're going to start off with traffic. Then we're going to scroll down and give our campaign a name. So in this case, I'm just going to call it cube bag campaign. Now here under special ad categories, we're not going to create a split test. We're not going to do campaign budget optimization. We can set a campaign budget and this needs to be at least $50 per day. Now, this does not mean that you're actually going to spend $50 per day because this is for the whole campaign. So if you got a lot of ad sets and a lot of ads that are under that campaign that have, let's say, a daily budget of $20, that's going to be accounted in the total of $50 that the campaign can use. But it doesn't mean that the campaign is going to use the whole $50 in just one day. Soon you'll see exactly what I mean. So now we're going to click on continue, but we are going to give it that minimum of $50. Now we need the ad group name. So we're on the second part. And again, we're just going to call it cube bag ad group because we're only going to create one ad at the moment. And the ad is a third part. You can create multiple ads under the ad group and you can create multiple ad groups under the campaign. OK, so next you've got the optimization location. So are you going to send your traffic to a website or to an app? Of course, we're going to keep it on website. Under placements, we do not want to use automatic placement because then TikTok is simply going to place it in places where we don't want it. So we're going to manually click on select placement. And here we're going to unclick global app bundle and Pangle. Those apps are not big, not anywhere near as big as 
TikTok, our target audience lies inside TikTok. So we're only going to leave that active. Then we're going to continue scrolling down. And this is where we've got the audience targeting. So here we do want to try to keep it as broad as possible, but not too broad if we can. So you can see how broad you are right here on the right side and the total targeting summary. So under location, I'm going to just leave it on the United States because that is the audience that I'm trying to target. That's where I can ship to quickly and where I can use supported shipping suppliers that TikTok actually supports. Now, the age range for this product can be, I'd say, anywhere between 18 to maybe 45 to 54. 55 plus probably will not buy this product. Gender. Now, here you can say all because, hey, maybe the boyfriend is buying it for the girlfriend. But I will go for female in this case because there's a much, much higher chance that most of them are going to be female. Under languages, we don't need all of them. English is more than enough. It will narrow it down a bit, but not too much. So I'm just going to type here English. And this way, we're only targeting an audience that speaks English. So you can see that the available audience is kind of going down a bit, but 45 million is still very, very broad. Household income, we're going to leave it as is. And we're going to continue scrolling down. Now, here we've got interests and behaviors. So here you can, again, use the audience research spreadsheet and write down the uh, answers that you uh, jotted down. And we can start to narrow it down by going for interests like fashion and beauty, for example. But, you know, I really want to keep it broad. So in this case, I'm not going to target any at all. I'm going to keep it as broad as possible. Now, the broader you go, the more you might spend in the beginning until you actually start to find your audiences. But at least this way, you're not excluding accidentally any audience that's actually good for your product. So we're going to let the ad work for at least three days and gather data. But we're going to get to the analyzation and optimization later. Now, here we can create a budget and schedule for this product. So we can go for the daily budget, and this time it doesn't have to be $50 because it's under the main campaign. So this can be broken down into a few ad sets or a few ads. In this case, the minimum, I think, is $20, if I'm not mistaken, because if I go under that, you're going to get that message that it needs to be at least $20. So we're going to go for at least $20 a day. And on schedule, we are going to let it run continuously. I don't want to set an end time to it. Because if the ad works well, I will not want to turn it off and it's going to suddenly turn off while it's working really well, while it's getting sales and then suddenly I'll stop getting sales. The algorithm will stop working, stop gathering data. And that is not something that we want happening. So in this case, we can just set a start time. Like, let's say you wanted to start at a certain time in your time zone where in the U.S. time zone there, everybody's awake right now and they're probably doing their online shopping. So you can set that. But again, I do not recommend setting an end time, but do keep an eye on your ads. Don't leave them running for a few weeks and forget about them because that daily budget is going to keep running until, of course, you run out of balance. Next, we've got bidding and optimization. So here you've got either click or landing page view. Now, TikTok is telling you, hey, you know what? The click option, your ad delivery won't be optimized for conversions on your website, but you can go with landing page view, which they usually put as a default setting, will deliver your ads to people most likely to land on your website. I still recommend going with click because, again, we don't want to give TikTok all the money in the beginning. We want the algorithm to work, to gather data, and not to give them everything all at once and not to run expensive ads. So we'll start with click, we'll gather our data, and once we're ready, once we're narrowed down some more, we can move it to landing page view later on. Then here under advanced settings, you can see that the billing event will be CPC or cost per click, which is a much better data organizer rather than getting a cost per impression. I don't want to see how much we're paying for impressions. I want to see exactly how much we're paying for clicks and how we can optimize more for that. All right, now we're going to click on next and we're going to go to the third section, which is the actual ad copy. So here is where we're going to actually upload the video that we have. So we're going to first give it a creative name. So in this case, I'm going to go with cube bag hook one. So if you've got multiple hooks, you can create hook one, hook two, hook three, and duplicate that ad under that same ad group under that same campaign. And we're going to scroll down to identity. And we're going to create a custom identity simply because that's what, what we want to show up here inside the ad copy. So you can call it candy cube sling bag in this case, or you can create another identity and call it whatever you want. So it's going to be like hashtag your TikTok username. So again, call it whatever you want and you can create multiple identities and choose them here later on. Okay. So here I'm going with candy cube sling bag. So that's going to be the TikTok identity and we're going to continue scrolling down and under ad details, we're either going to go with a single video or carousel images. Now, I did see a lot of ad copies with images that work, but videos are simply going to work much, much better because as soon as someone scrolls and sees, wow, this product is cool. What is that? You had a good hook. It's going to work. They're going to click. 
right? And they're going to go to your TikTok shop and they're going to purchase the product. So here we're going to go with a video. It simply showcases the product in a much, much better way. And I'm going to click on upload to upload that product. And in this case, I already have a video for this product. Now, if you do not have a video and I talked about how you can order the product to your house and you can create videos for yourself, but if you do not have that option, there's also another great option that I added inside the TikTok shop cheat sheet. So it's under how to create a TikTok ad, how to get a video for your ad. You can use your supplier's video, but you will have to do some editing to make it original, not use the same video. You can order the product and shoot your own videos, which is recommended what I talked about. But if you do not want to do that, you can send the product to a user generated content video video creator and editor. So this way you're sending the product to a professional who will shoot videos for this product and make it super good, super engaging for social media ad copies. And here I left a link to Fiverr's UGC creators because there's a lot of them that can simply get the job done really quickly and easily for you. And this can start from small budgets like $10, $45, even $5, as you can see here. And it goes all the way up to $250 and more for the really, really successful freelancers who are really good at this type of work. Okay, so use that link and you can use UGC creators to get the best results if you have the budget for that. If you don't, I highly recommend just ordering the product to your house paying whatever the product costs, like $10, that's going to be your expense, but now you can shoot as many videos as you want. So again, I already have a video for this product. I'm just gonna upload it back at where we were. So here I'm gonna click on upload video and I'm going to select it from my hard drive. Now here a few things can happen. So as you can see right here, it's ready to be uploaded, but the video doesn't meet the aspect resolution requirements. Now, sometimes you can have other things like maybe there's a watermark on that video. And the cool part here is that TikTok has an AI tool that can simply solve all these problems. So for now, I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to wait for it to upload here on the right side. And then I'm going to get the AI tip recommendations and I'll be able to fix whatever errors this video has and get it ready for publishing. So you can see that it's uploading the creative now. We'll just wait really quick for it to get done. Okay, so here it's done. We can see creative one issue detected. The resolution should be at least 960 by 540. So now I'm going to click on edit video. And here on the left side, we can see fix with AI. Okay, so we're going to click on that button. Okay, important fixes made in your video. The resolution should be at least 960 by 540. As we saw, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. But I actually want to do more than that. The other thing that I want to do is it's a widescreen and I want to make it in portrait mode. So the AI tool can also help us do that. I'm going to click right here on TikTok video editor. Then there's actually a couple of things that we can do here, like add background music, add text to the video and more things. But in general, we've got a landscape video that I don't really want to use. Um, but in general, this is what the video looks like. Okay, so you got this uh, lady right here and she's uh, showing the bag. Uh, she's showing, you know, how cool it is and what you can do with it and the different strap options that you have with it and all of that. Okay, so up until now, everything looks good. She sees it in different places, different locations, but I do not want the 16 by nine. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go nine by 16. This is the portrait view that we're looking for, for TikTok. And you can kind of move it around to make sure that she's really centered inside and we're seeing exactly what we're supposed to see. So this AI editing tool is really, really helpful. Another thing that I'd like to add, since it already has background music, of course, you can remove it and you can use a different one right here. You can create voiceovers. But what I want to do now is just add a quick text. OK, so let's go to the beginning of the video and let's add a text box and let's go for something like this pinkish one right here. So I'm just going to click on this plus and you can see that it added to the timeline. I want to make it go for around five seconds long. So I'm just going to drag it from zero seconds all the way to five seconds. And I'm going to enter the text. So let's say here's your new cute. And I'm going to skip a line because I see that it's getting to the end of the um, borders and candy cube sling bag. OK, so we're adding the text right here. We can see it. You can drag and drop it around. So I'm just going to put it around right here. OK, now let's see the video. OK, looks great. Thank you, AI. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to confirm that. Okay, now it's rendering the changes. In the meantime, we're going to add some text right here. So this is the text that's going to be shown under the identity here. Now, you can also use uh, free tools, free AI tools like ChatGPT to be able to write a nice little copy. But here, I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to write shine bright with your new candy cube sling bag. Okay, so we're going to wait for the render to finish. This is our text. 
And we can see that everything is updated here. So here's your new cute candy cube sling bag. Candy cube sling bag is the identity and the text down here, shine bright with your new candy cube sling bag. And you can play again to just check out the video. And it looks much better in portrait mode. AI tool did a wonderful, wonderful job without the need to have a professional video editing tool and without the need to know all of that technical stuff. Now here you do have a call to action and you can tell TikTok to automatically show different call to actions. The call to action is the button that you're seeing right here. So is it going to say order now or get yours now or what do you want to show? Now you can tell TikTok, hey, you know, just leave all of these and kind of play around with it and see what gets me the best results. But basically we don't need check it out. Order now is fine. Get yours now. Order yours today. Buy today. Order yours now. Order here. Shop today. Not really. Buy here. Okay. Learn more. No need. Okay. So I'm just going to leave all of these. You can also just leave one like order now. It shouldn't make that much of a difference as long as the product is good. People understand that that button is going to lead them there. So I'm going to go with order now so we can see that button right here again. And you can do more things like interactive add-ons, but things that we don't have to or necessarily need in order for this product to start making sales. Next, destination. So are you sending them to a URL or to somewhere else? In this case, we are sending them to a URL and the URL is our product page. Now, in order to get to our URL, we're simply going to go back to our products page on TikTok. And you can also do that on AutoDS. So just go to the product on AutoDS and click on view on TikTok. That'll take you directly to the product page. So you can just copy the URL from here or through TikTok shop, just click on manage products and then go next to the product, click on this little I right here and then copy URL. But again, if everything is on AutoDS, you might as well just use that. Okay, so we're going to copy the link right here and we're going to paste that under URL. Now you can click on preview and you should just to make sure that you got it right. So I can click on preview and make sure that it's taking me to the product page on TikTok. And you can see all the variations right here. Everything was imported nicely and easily with the AI written tool for the product title and description. Everything looks good and you can purchase the product as we speak. Okay, so back to the TikTok shop. We can see that the URL is correct. We're going to continue scrolling down. Now under tracking, you can add a TikTok pixel. I'm not going to do it now, but basically it's a good thing to be able to understand the tracking events, what happened when the customer viewed the ad, if they clicked, how many clicked, how many went to add to cart and stop there and so forth. But for me, it's more than enough. Now, when you first started to create the ad, TikTok did have a link to add your billing information. If you didn't add it, then you will have to do it now when you click on submit. So I'm ready with my ad copy. I want to publish it and everything is filled in. So now we're just going to go ahead and click on submit. So as I said, if you didn't add a balance, if you didn't add your billing info in the beginning, when you started creating the ad, you will have to do it here at the end. So the daily budget is $20. We're going to give it that minimum of $20. I'm going to click on next. Now, again, I do suggest putting more than $20 because now the ad is only going to run for one day, but this is just for demo purposes. So now how do you want to pay for those $20? I'm going to go with credit card. I'm going to fill in my info really quick. And once done, we're going to scroll down, click on make payment, give it a couple of seconds. Payment is being processed and payment is successful. Our ad is now going to start running. The ad is being created in the background and it could take TikTok a few hours to approve the ad before it starts running. So we can see right here, congratulations. It automatically redirected me back now to the ads manager and we can see it right here. So here's the ad copy that we just created. It's not delivering at the moment because it's in review, but in a few hours it will start running after getting approved and we'll be able to get all of the data, including how much traffic we were able to bring. What is our total cost per click? How many impressions we got? How many clicks? What is the total click through rating? How many conversions we got? and more information that will come later on once the ad actually starts running. So congratulations on launching your TikTok shop, understanding what you can and cannot sell, how to do your product research, connecting with an automation tool to help you scale efficiently, adding your winning products and running your first TikTok ad. Now what's going to happen is it's inevitable. With enough practice, you're going to start making sales. And once that happens, it's time to actually fulfill our orders and get it to our customers. And there's, of course, a few ways to do that. That. The first and best method to fulfill your orders and get them from your suppliers all the way to your customers without you having to do anything with the product because that is a dropshipping business model is going through the fulfilled by AutoDS method. What this means is AutoDS will take care of fulfilling the order as soon as it comes in and it'll make sure that it's shipped and delivered to your customer along with updating tracking information automatically. Now this uses AutoDS's buyer account so you do not have to have any buyer accounts on any of the suppliers that you 
you are working with. This means that you do not need to add your credit card information to your supplier's websites, and you will not have to deal with things like getting your buyer account banned just in case there's any trouble, just in case they don't support dropshipping, but you're dropshipping from them anyway. AutoDS will take care of all of that for you. And especially if you're using AutoDS's private suppliers, who are waiting to work with dropshippers such as yourselves, this is going to be super seamless, very easy, and Fulfilled by AutoDS will work automatically when working with these suppliers. Just make sure under your settings that you do have the automatic orders under plans and add-ons. You want to make sure that you've got the orders processor enabled, and of course also the product finding hub, because how are you going to find the best dropshipping products that will actually sell on your stores without taking these wonderful, wonderful shortcuts with all of the years of data that we have inside our databases that's refreshing and adding new products daily. We've already got millions of products and we're going to add millions more. So that is fulfilled by AutoDS. Once you have that enabled, your orders are going to get automated automatically from the system without using your buyer accounts. The second method is using automatic orders. The difference between automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS is in automatic orders, AutoDS will still automatically fulfill your orders as soon as they come in and update tracking information and even convert them to other tracking that will be supported by TikTok shop. However, it's going to use your buyer account. So you're going to have to add your buyer account information inside AutoDS. AutoDS will log into your buyer account and automatically fulfill the order and update tracking. That is the second most recommended method if you cannot or do not want to use fulfilled by AutoDS. And the third option is to manually fulfill your orders. Now, this, of course, is not the recommended method because you'll have to go to your supplier's website, add to cart, purchase, check out, hopefully not make any mistakes with your shipping address. And it's also really hard to scale, especially once you hit 50 orders per day, 100 orders per day. You're just going to spend all day fulfilling orders and updating tracking information instead of actually focusing on growth. So I do not recommend that. If you want, you can start with it, see how it goes. But sooner or later, as soon as you go automation, I guarantee that you will never go back. Now, of course, you've got more information if you click on the links and go to the feature pages and read exactly how that works. But that is the recommended method fulfilled by AutoDS. I've been using it for years and it's as simple as going to your orders page. And here you can see the statuses of your orders, what orders came in on what products, the dates, the current status. And if you hover over this little icon right here, you can see that it was completed by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, as well as when it's going to arrive. And tracking will also get updated automatically. So the order will move from ordered to shipped and from shipped to delivered once it's delivered. And you've got more information on these columns, which of course you can customize by clicking on customize display, including what is the source price, how much the customer paid, what is your profit, and all of that is provided under the orders page on AutoDS. So it's really easy once you have automation enabled. And from that, it's all about analyzing and optimizing your success. For example, after three days of running ads, check the performance according to the data. If you're getting low clicks or a low view count, turn off those ads. You can try better hooks and videos for that product that you are trying to promote. And you can go even more broad with the audience targeting to allow the TikTok algorithm to gather sufficient data. Now, if that doesn't work, then just completely turn off the ad and move on to the next product. Now, if an ad copy did get sales, then you want to duplicate the winning product and run additional tests. For example, you can add a higher daily budget on that ad because it's already working and it's giving you a good return on your investment. See exactly how much you paid so far for that ad and how many sales and profit it actually brought in to, un to understand exactly what your return on investment is, or in other words, ROI. Next, you want to narrow down even more on that target audience that's purchasing your product because now you have data on that hot audience that actually wants to purchase and purchase your product. Next, you can try more hooks to appeal to those who didn't purchase your product so you can retarget the same audience, but with different hooks to try to reel them in and get them to purchase this time. As sell as selling a similar product like another type of purse that looks really cool that you can't really find on AliExpress or that's really expensive on Amazon and all kinds of examples like that. So sell something similar to that similar target audience. And last but not least, always add more products similar to those that are selling and continue researching for new winners and scale your success from there. There are endless products that you can resell. And again, use this 41 page cheat sheet that was customized just for you. All you have to do is comment hashtag TikTok shop right below this video, and I'm going to send you the link to this cheat sheet, which once again, I guarantee you will not find this anywhere, anywhere else. Guys, good luck with your TikTok shop. Let me know if there's any questions and I will personally answer them below. Enjoy automating your TikTok shop dropshipping stores. There is no better time to start than now, and now is the time to take action. Good luck, and I cannot wait to hear about your success story.